This week at Chateau de Bernon, a milestone is reached in the roof restoration, allowing a centuries-old tradition to be observed by our roofing artisans. Our carpenters work to return the chateau roof to its original 18th century form, And after a long winter, the arrival of spring sees us working to get the chateau grounds under control again. High up on Pernon's facade, in order to protect her epic coats of arms and the restored delicate Tufo stone oculi, our roofing artisans are painstakingly crafting copper and lead coverings to ensure that the work that we do in our generation will be protected for many generations to come. So the stone here was terribly degraded and the stonemasons have now finished redoing all the stonework here and our architect has decided to put this protection on top of the stones to protect the stones for a long time to come because the Tufo stone is very subject to bad weather and so it degrades quite easily. Alors pour commencer, on a mis une bande en cuir. Oui. Pour venir agrafer le plomb dessus. Oui. Qu'on vient pistonner avec des chevilles en plastique et des clous cuivre, comme ça il se tient bien à la pierre. On vient l'écarter de 1 cm et demi de la pierre. Comme ça, quand l'eau va couler, elle ne tombera, elle tombera pas sur la pierre. D'accord. On écarte pour la goutte d'eau. Ok. Ensuite, on a mis un, un papier anglais. Ce papier anglais, il sert à... C'est pour éviter la corrosion okay. sur le plomb, pour éviter qu'il devienne blanc puis qu'il pourrisse au contact de la pierre. Ça évite que, ça évite que l'humidité remonte et elle touche le plomb. Ok. Et après, on a fabriqué notre bande, notre bande en plomb. Là, on l'a graffé. Ici, on a fait ce qu'on appelle un jonc. Oui. Ça, c'est pour, la... pour faire la jonction, oui. pour garantir l'étanchéité. Vient... Dessus, on vient souder une pâte en cuivre. Oui, d'accord. Pour pouvoir le tenir, pour éviter qu'il bouge. Donc, il est tenu ici, il est tenu là. Et ensuite, ici, il est enfoncé. Et après, il y a le... les maçons qui viennent faire le... le joint tout le long pour cacher. Et ça, c'est des accroches-coeurs. Ça, c'est pour... pour pouvoir que la colle le, le joint vient de s'accrocher. Et donc on va faire la même chose sur le fronton. Ce sera exactement le même. Quasiment. À la place d'avoir ça, à la place d'avoir un joint comme ça, on aura un fer à cheval. La forme d'un fer à cheval, mais qui sera fait en plomb okay. et embouti comme là. Pour éviter que le plomb glisse, donc ah il oui. sera fixé sur le haut. Sur le haut du plomb, il sera fixé. Et ensuite, dans le milieu, il y aura un fer à cheval, comme ça, fait comme ça, pour éviter qu'il glisse. Okay. Avec la, la même bande, la même pince, pour éviter que ça, ça touche la pierre.
and then they add their final touch. Like generations before them, our roofers etch their names on Pernon's extraordinary roof. So when Chateau de Pernon was constructed at the end of the 18th century, there were no gutters installed at roof level. Water would have run off the bell-shaped slate roof and landed directly in the dry moat, where a system of stone gutters would have channeled the water into several large cisterns. It was a system that probably worked reasonably well. Fast forward to the end of the 19th century and the Marquis de Roche-Kelly purchases Pernon in 1893 and he starts a grand program of modernisation. And one of the things they do is they install zinc guttering along the top of the stone corniches that you can see here in front of me. So you can imagine in order to do this they actually had to change significantly the shape of the roof. It had to be pushed back to create this large platform to accommodate the system of zinc guttering. Now at the time, this system would have been considered quite modern. But in fact, the installation of this zinc guttering had a disastrous impact on the chateau. It didn't just change its physical appearance, but it actually weakened the stone facades themselves. In order to secure the zinc guttering, large metal pickets were embedded in the stone corniches. And these large metal pickets weakened the stone and they allowed water to infiltrate into the stone. And it's one of the reasons why the facades are so degraded and damaged today. So one of the most ambitious parts of our chateau restoration is to reshape the roof to its original form to return the chateau to its original 18th century appearance. And so the zinc guttering needs to be removed. And you can see here, it's already gone. And then the charpente or the oak frame that supports the slate roof has to be reshaped to return it to its original form. And you can see that our charpente team who work on the oak frame have done exactly that here. This is the work they've been doing this week. And you can see them shaping the oak pieces so that the oak frame can return to its original form. So you may be wondering if we've removed the 19th century zinc guttering, will the new chateau roof have any guttering at all? And to answer that question, let's wander across the scaffolding and see the section of the roof that's already been restored. Here you can see the work that the roofing team have done this week to protect this stone pediment. And you can see the restored blazon or coats of arms of Monsieur Achard de la Haye and Madame de, de la Motte Barisay who constructed Pernon. So here you can see the magnificent section of restored slate roof behind me. And instead of the zinc guttering, there's a much subtler copper guttering that's been put in place. And this copper guttering sits away from the facades. So it means that they won't damage the stone cornishes in any way. And it also means, most importantly, that the roof has been returned to its beautiful original 18th century form. And we hope this roof and this guttering will protect Chateau de Pernon for centuries to come.
The welcome spring months have arrived and the chateau grounds are blooming back into life. After a wet start to spring, we have a lot of catching up to do to get the domain back under control. And don't forget, if you'd like to follow the restoration of Pernod more closely, we post a daily update in our Instagram stories. If you'd like to support the restoration project here at Pernod, we post an exclusive weekly video over on Patreon. Otherwise, just hit the subscribe button and we'll keep you updated here.